YouTube, how the fudge we doing? We're back. Another itsy video on the channel. It's called Cheshire, like Cheshire Cat. Maybe we got some Alice in Wonderland in here. Who knows? That'd be actually that'd be kind of cool if they threw something in the background, like you know, a little shout out to them. But anyways, we have the Cheshire music video by Itsy. Um, I haven't reacted to this group in a while, but you know what? Let's jump in, see what they got going on here. Uh, just by the little frame we got we got the true or fake so i wonder if that's going to tie into the actual song itself but there's only one way to find out so let's go okay can we get a can we get a second to check out these outfits oh my god look at the boots they got like the power ranger boots on diesel's a brand like that's been popping up everywhere so whatever oh looks like they're about to go on a game show okay true or fake all right let's restart no more they're all a fun group too. Ooh, neon nails. Transitions. Turn it up. Oh, the voice. Like a Cheshire cat, it's all right. Oh, why are you crying? Trust your gut, not your logic, okay. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Love little cat references, okay. What the heck is that thing? Dance break, here we go. Oh my god, the outfit changes and the transition. This can be the new TikTok dance, I'm telling you. Who's this? Who is this? Why so serious? Ooh, put the crown on, queen. Oh, oh, it's like a little snake in the background, too. You saw that? Wow. Wow. That's interesting. Okay, so I love the whole concept of it being like a game show. I'm trying to find a nice still frame. Where is that? Okay, let's see up here. I like how it's like a, the concept is like a game show, you know, true or fake. And they're pretty much saying like, you know, when they're texting people or their significant other or whoever they like, they can't tell if they're being real to them, staying true to themselves, or they're just being fake and, you know, just talking to them. Just because in the one lyric they've said, you know, I don't want to talk to you anymore because you're being boring. So why why even try, you know, talking? So that could be true to real life scenarios, you know. You don't know if it's you keeping the conversation going with the other person or, if, or you know, like if you stop texting them, will they ever text you back? You know what I'm trying to say? Is it you putting in all the effort or are they actually like helping out? You know what I'm saying? So true or fake, um, really good um, 
you know, I guess you could say that's what I thought about it. I'm not sure if that's exactly what it meant. So let me know in the comments down below. But besides the point, can we get over the outfit changes? Oh my gosh. Like when they changed it to the white fit right here. That was sick. like that was mm, right there. And then the whole background scenery and everything changed um, there. It looked like they're like uh, in a in a workplace school type scenario or scene. And then it changes like. I don't even know all this stuff. It could be like barcodes or something. Who knows? Um, but it's like, it reminds me of like Mario Brothers. <laughs> like, look at that. It just keeps. And she throws the bomb. Boom. And then you go, like, what? Transitions, crazy. Outfit changes on point. Like, that's two things that I will always love about the K pop videos or any um, video overseas, Japanese. Uh, Korean, Vietnamese, whatever it is, and they, the transitions, attention to detail, outfits, styling, everything is always on point, and it's amazing because you they don't wear the same outfits in every video, so it's always something to like look at and see like you know it could be designer brands, it could be simple like some brand I never even heard of like Diesel, um, like it's just crazy what they can put their put together and just make it look good. So that's awesome. And then they have like a little truck, um, like a little Ford um, or Chevy from back in the day, designed with all the stickers and everything. She's driving it, boom, explodes, whatever. But like everything is crazy from the transitions. And the one shot where she's crying and a teardrop comes and then boom, it transitions into someone else. Or no, well, what's the actual scene? There's it's something with a teardrop and then it shows up on her face. Right there. So the drop just comes down for the editing and then a boom it transitions into being the teardrop on her eye. And then she wipes it away like a magic trick. Like that? Like like it's like fake like it's a fake like a fake face, you know what I'm saying? So it's crazy. Like real or fake, you don't have to say or true or fake. So hint time over. I didn't even notice that in the side, so that's crazy. But whole music video was done amazingly. Um, is that even a word? Amazingly, it's done very well, executed very well. They had an assignment, they nailed it. Um, would love to see more music videos of them. And I just that like from reacting to them, I think maybe a year or two ago to now, a lot has definitely changed with the way their style is. Like I remember back then, I think I watched a while ago, and they were doing more like the dance breaks without this chorus and singing, and they just focused on the dance break. But now they're doing the dance break, not like you know when it's coming, but it's not going to be like a long, long dance break. It's like a quick 10, 15 seconds. They're still doing the chorus, and they you know go their separate ways, and just, then they focus back on the solo parts, which I like a lot because you get to learn each member of the group uh, more in depth. So I like that. Keep that style going. And keep making more music videos, especially with this whole, you know, the theme. And it's just fun watching the music videos and trying to point out, like, you know, oh my god, am I supposed to be paying attention to that or this? And, like, just, it's like a little game when you're watching the music videos because it, you don't know if it's, like, symbolism to something. If it's going to be, like, you know, showing something in the future, that, like, a future album date, future song date, or, you know, anything. It just keeps us guessing on our toes, edge of our seat, and I love it. But with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed the music video and the reaction to Itzy, the Cheshire music video. If there's anything I missed in the music video, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll try to reply to every single comment as best as I can, like I always do. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. Peace.